So we're all up north camping, and it's time to get the fire going so we can get dinner ready. And I'm gonna show you guys the best way that I've learned how to build a fire. So before you get your fire going, you're gonna to need to get your stuff prepped. So I've actually got everything set up here for you guys to see. Um, so we got a few materials that you're gonna want. First of all, you're gonna want something that burns pretty quickly. I like to use newspaper. Um, you're gonna you need uh, some material that's actually gonna create some kind of coals quickly. And this ball is kind of burns a little bit quickly. Um, so I like to use these dead pine branch type uh, material as well as just shavings basically off of my firewood and then uh, I also got some medium sized logs here and then two big logs so what we're gonna do first is put the two big logs down kind of side by side and when you put these down you want to make sure that the wind is blowing in between here uh, it's kind of important that you got good airflow going down the middle. Next what we'll do is grab two of the larger medium sized logs and we'll put them across just like that. And keep in mind you don't want the bark where the fire is going to be because contrary to what a lot of people think, bark does not burn very well. Next we're going to take some of uh, our newspaper Crumple it up, put it in the middle, you want to make sure that you've got enough paper in here that you know it's going to burn long enough to catch the smaller sticks on fire, you want to have enough smaller sticks, make sure you catch the larger sticks on fire, it's kind of like a chain reaction type thing, you start with the quick burning stuff to catch the slower burning stuff on fire. You just want to make sure you got enough of each, and it kind of takes time and practice. But if you got a pretty good bed of your starter here, then you should be pretty good. I usually pretty much just fill the whole bottom with paper. So next, we'll take our quick burning material here. Like I said, I use these little pine branches. These tend to burn pretty good. We'll put that right on top of the paper. Okay, Clark. <laughs> and we'll also take our smaller shavings here and we'll put that right on top of those pine branches. And this might look like a lot, a lot of wood and stuff, but you want to make sure that you got enough burning here that's going to create good coals. Because what we're trying to do right now is create a really good coal base. Because once you got enough you know, good coal bed, then you can pretty much burn just about anything on there. Up to you just so pretty pretty much just put a big log on there, and it'll burn a log if you got a good coal base. So next, we'll take some of the bigger logs and we'll just set them across like so. These bigger logs, I like to make sure that they're going to be, when everything burns down, they'll be resting on top of the other logs so there's still good airflow going underneath. That just helps everything to burn a little quicker. Also a couple tips here. It's good to have a leather glove, that way you can just reach in there and grab a log if you have to. That'll burn your hand and a good poking stick is good to have. Also you're going to need something to light the fire with. I like to use matches. My goal is to always just use one match to light one fire. Doesn't always work out that way. Um, but you can use like a fluid lighter. You could use flint and steel if you want, although that takes forever. I've tried that before. But usually for me, one match is all I need. Come on. So when you're lighting your paper, you want to try to light it in multiple different spots. So if it goes out in one area, you know you're good and 
in multiple different areas. So today we've got pretty good wind flow, so I don't have to encourage it at all, but if you don't have much wind going on, you can use your hat, you can you know, wave some newspaper at it, and use a fan or something, or you can blow on it just to kind of get that fire going. So at this point, we're just waiting for uh, the newspaper to catch fire underneath and just start burning so we can catch the smaller sticks on fire. piece of paper coming out. I don't want that outside, I want that underneath where it's actually going to be doing some good. And now we got some of the smaller sticks starting to light. Some of this wood must be wet. We got a lot of smoke coming out. That's okay. Like this initial fire will get pretty hot and it'll pretty much burn everything that's all the small stuff right away. If you want to make sure that you get got good dry wood, if your wood is not dry, and you can try to use some small stuff to dry it out first, but it helps if you get your fire going. You can start setting up your wet wood along the sides like this, the bark side facing out, and that way the fire will dry out your logs. Now you can see it's kind of growing a little bit. We got some of the smaller sticks starting to light, some of the medium sticks are starting to catch fire now. And pretty much at this point, your fire is pretty good to go. Um, I'll, st I'll still use the medium sized logs. Now once this burns down a little bit, you just use medium sized logs until that coal base is able to build up a little bit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty simple actually. And like I said, this is just my opinion of the best way to build a fire in my experience. And if you got a different way of building it, I'd be happy to hear what you guys uh, have in mind. And just go ahead and add in the comments section uh, some of your ideas and maybe how you build a fire that works for you. But uh, appreciate it. If you liked the video, go ahead and give us a like. That helps us out a lot. Appreciate your guys' support and watching the video. And I will see you in the next one.